In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress affiliate marketing website. Now, I know in the past I've been showing you how to create simple websites using Google platforms like Blogger and Google Sites. Now, WordPress is more of advanced and there are many reasons why you want to use WordPress. So why would you want to use WordPress? Well, WordPress, first of all, powers over 40% of the entire internet. It's a popular platform that's used by most companies. As you can see, it's used by CNN. Forbes, New York Times. It's also used by celebrities like Jay Z and Katy Perry. I personally also use WordPress. I've used it to create my websites such as uh, robertokala.com, robskellostreams.com. Another reason is that it's easy to manage actually. You can easily install plugins. It's supported by all plugins. And these plugins are basically like tools that you can install in a website to perform specific tasks. Okay. So WordPress is very, very important if you want to be a serious affiliate marketer. So the steps that I'm going to be covering in this tutorial is first how to get a domain and hosting, okay? We're first going to get a domain and hosting, we're going to install WordPress and we're going to create the website, all right? So to get your domain and hosting, you're going to have to buy domain and hosting, okay? These are provided by hosting companies. If you come over to my website, I've actually listed the best web hosting providers these are popular providers that power most of the webs on the internet. We have Bluehost, we have SiteGround, there's GoDaddy, NameHero, Kingstar, Hostinger, and Namecheap. All right. So you can use any of these uh, web hosting providers. So say, for example, I open Bluehost. So just click on this, which will take you to the Bluehost website. Okay. So you're just going to click on Get Started. And here they're going to take you to their plans. Okay. They all have their own plans. The cheapest average is about $3, 2 to $3 a month. So since you're just starting out, you just want to start with the lowest, okay, because this is going to give you just one blog or one website. And as you can see here, they give you free uh, CDN. And if you don't know what CDN is, uh, it's, it's actually kind of like a, a system where you can distribute copies of your website on different parts of the world to speed up your website, okay? You can actually look it up on Google and they also give you 10 GB SSD storage, okay? So you can just select this one here. So here is basically where you're going to now create your domain. You're going to come up with a domain name. So it depends on what it is that you want to get into. Now, I recommend using your name at first. Uh, if you're not really sure what you want to get into, because you can see with your name, you can actually promote anything. But if you're specific about the niche that you want to enter, like maybe you want to do uh, health, or maybe you want to get into the health category. So maybe you can call it like maybe everydayhealth.com. All right. And then you just click on next. Or if you have your own domain, you can actually use your own domain over here. If you have an existing domain, you can uh, create it here. Once you've done that, you're just going to click on next. And just as I thought, this one is not available. Everyday Health is a very simple name. So we're going to have to try harder and look for uh, something kind of similar to this. But as you can see here, they also give you available related domains. So as you can see here, they have healthyeverydayhealth.com. You also have everydayhealthinsurance.com. Okay, you want to go with .com, make sure you go for a domain that has .com. Okay, you don't want to go to .net. These are not really common and they also tend to be expensive. So you want to go for .com, right? So just look for any domain .com or just create another domain with .com. So let's say, for example, you want to go with this one here, the health, everydayhealth.com. I'm going to click on this and then click on continue. Okay, so it says here the health, the domain healthy everydayhealth.com is available. So here's now basically where you're going to enter your information. You're going to enter your first name, last name. Now you can skip your business name. Here you're going to enter your country. Okay, they have all countries in the world. So you don't have to worry about your country being available. You're going to enter street address, city, state as well. Postal code if you have, but I don't think it's really necessary. Here you're going to enter your phone number. Okay, and then finally your email address. This is important as you can see it has an asterisk because this is where they're going to send you your receipts and your C panel. Okay. And if you scroll down here, you can see more information, All right? So you can just select if you want more packages, you can select here. But uh, most people tend to skip this. I personally don't add anything else here. Okay, once you're done now, here's where you're going to pay. You're going to enter your credit card information, a card number. And then once you're done, you can click on submit. And once you have submitted, they're going to send you some email. They're going to send you your information on email, your receipt and your cPanel. So you're just going to go to your email. You're going to look for the cPanel, okay? Once you open the cPanel, it's going to look something like this. Okay, your cPanel is going to look something like this because they're also going to send you your username, your cPanel username, and cPanel password. Okay, 
So on your cPanel, you basically want to install WordPress, okay? That's the important thing. That's the reason for the cPanel. You want to install your WordPress. So you're going to scroll down. They usually tend to be different with different providers, hosting providers. You might find it looking different, okay? But they generally have similar programs, okay? So I'm just going to look for WordPress. You're going to find it usually down below. So what you want to do is download WordPress. Now I already have mine downloaded, so I don't need to click on this. But you're going to install WordPress. Once you have WordPress installed, you are going to enter your username. This is also going to be provided by the hosting company. They're going to send it to you via email. So you're going to enter your username and password. Once you have done that, you're going to click on login, which is going to look something like this. So on your left hand side here, you have your menu, you have your posts. Here's where you can create posts. You have your media. Here's where you can upload a media files. You can add, upload uh, images. You also have pages. You can add pages here. So comments as well. And then the rest of these are settings. So this is the appearance. You can add themes over here. Here's where you can now add your plugins. You can click on add new. You have users. So if you have multiple users, maybe if you have other people running a website, here is where you can actually add them. You have tools and you have settings. Okay. So if you want to look at how your website looks like at this point, you can hover over the name over here and then just right click and open in a new site or in a new tab. So this is how it's going to look like. It comes with the default theme. I think it's called 2023. All right. So this is basically how it looks like. As you can see, it's empty because we haven't added anything yet. You can actually change themes. Okay. If you don't want this theme, you can change it. I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, we're going to head over back to our dashboard. So we're going to first create a post. Okay. And to create a post, click on this. Click on add new. So this is the block editor. Okay. This is called the Gutenberg block editor is the default editor for WordPress. So we're first going to enter the title of our post. So I'm going to enter a title over here. So maybe something like how to start a business, an online business in 2023. All right. So once you've done that, you can now start building your post. So to continue, you can just click on this plus. All right. Now, as you can see, they have different menus over here, things that you can add. You can add a paragraph. This is basically for text. You can add an image. You can add heading. You can add a gallery. This is for images, list, quote. And you can actually expand this. So if you click on browse all, it's going to take it onto the left. And here's where you're going to see the rest of the block editors. Okay. So what we're going to do next is to add an image. Okay. So we want to add an image for our post. In order to do that, we're just going to click on image over here. Okay. And then I'm going to get an image from the internet. I'm going to go to Pexels. So this is Pexels.com. I'm just going to type here starting a business. And I'm just going to download um, any random image over here. I can even go with this. All right. Once we have that downloaded, we can come back to our website. And now we can click on upload, select our image. And now we have our image for our post. And now we can continue. Just click on this plus over here. So now we're going to add some text. And to add some text, we're going to click on paragraph. Here's where we can now enter content, you know, text content for how to start a business online. So I can copy this and I'm going to use chat GPT to write for us content on how to start an online business in 2023. Okay. So we're going to head over to chat GPT. Okay. Now again, I'm using AI PRM extension, even new to my channel. I use this extension. It's a chat GPT Chrome extension, a very powerful a Chrome extension that comes with thousands of prompts. These are prompts that you can use on chat GPT to make your work easier, to be more productive and don't have to actually come up with your own prompts okay so to get this aprm you can just head over to my website it's robertokello.com ai extensions click on chat gpt chrome extensions you're going to scroll down over here it's actually the first one and then you're going to click on download aprm extension once you have it downloaded you can come back to chat gpt you can refresh chat gpt and it's going to look like this okay so the one that we want is this one here the human return 100 percent unique seo optimized article okay you're going to click on that so to know that it's been selected, you can see it's also titled over here. So here's where we're going to enter the keyword or the title of what you want it to, uh, to write. So I'm just going to paste it over here. So to start an online business, enter. All right, so ChatGPT has written for us our article. We started with the outline and under the outline we have introduction and under introduction we have subtitles. Next we have finding your niche, creating a business plan, building your uh, online presence so as you can see all this have actually been written on the outline and what this extension does it actually writes articles on each and every one of these topics and subtopics 
okay very very powerful so as you can see how to start an online business in 2023 and then it has the introduction over here finding your niche creating a business plan so all this okay so it's actually stopped here and if you wanted to continue just click on continue and it's going to continue with the article okay so while it's doing that we can now continue and copy just we can just copy this uh, not the outline you don't want to copy the outline so we're going to copy from here okay you just copy all this maybe until there at three just copy that and then now we can come back to our blog okay and we can paste it over here okay so we have our article so this is just the first part of our article and now what you can do you can add an image you can add an image if you want so personally what i do i like uh, adding images maybe just a small image so i'm going to click on this plus over here click on image okay this time let me download an image from google so i can just type over here business go to images okay so we want a copyright free image uh, tools usage right creative common license and then i like to use these types of uh, images called clip arts these cartoon types of images okay so i can download this one here save image and click on download so now i can come back to my website and i can actually drag it from here and now as you can see you have a small image there you can expand it if you want but i'm just going to leave it at that size and then now i'm going to come back to chat gpt we're going to continue and copy the rest of our article okay so now i'm just going to copy the rest of it and as you can see it also has the conclusion okay I'm going to copy this, come back to our website, click on plus over here, click on paragraph, and then just paste your ad call over there. Okay, so here we have our, our post, and as you can see, we have everything included. I'm going to delete this. Okay, you don't need this. And it's actually uh, duplicated this, so I don't need to include this. So these are the things that you also want to. Uh, get rid of make sure you while you're editing you remove these uh, duplicates because sometimes when you uh, click on continue on chat gpt as you can see there's number four over here but which it didn't complete and then it started again number four over here all right and the good thing about this prompt as you can see it also has the titles these are titles that you can classify as h1 or h2 or h3 titles okay as you can see here we have the introduction and then we have the rise of online businesses okay so this one can be h1 actually this one here itself can be h1 or the title and then you have this ones as h2 h2 you have h1 h2 h2 h1 h2 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 okay so you can come back to your blog and then you can now rename them or give them those title heads so we have introduction actually we don't need this here intro we don't need introduction so i'm just going to delete this and then this one here can be our h2 tag okay so you can just highlight it like this click on this uh, paragraph over here click on heading okay as you can see here you can you can highlight it again and then you can select whether you want uh, h2 or h3 uh, tags okay so i'm just going to quickly do that for the rest of these all right so i have all of them as h2 tags so if you have subtopics under each of these those are the ones that you can classify as h3 tags okay this is very important for seo now what i'm going to do i'm going to make the text bigger because the headings are actually very big so i'm just going to make the rest of the article bigger just to balance you know the size of the article so to do that you can just highlight and then now on your right hand side over here as you can see under typography you have different sizes you have small medium you have large you have excel you also have medium so medium was the default one i think i'm just going to leave it at large okay so I can do it for the rest of the article. All right, so I've increased the size of the rest of the article. Now to save and publish your article, as you can see on the type of, uh, your top right over here, you have save draft and then you have publish. Okay, so just click on publish. Click on publish again. And then now you can click on view post, which will take you to the post. So this is how it looks like. Okay, we have now our full article over here. Okay, now this H2 titles there seem to be very big. But you can also reduce the sizes of them and then down here you have your comments so once people read they can actually add a comment here and post the comment so this is how you can actually create your post on wordpress and guys here's where you can now actually add your affiliate links so you can start promoting products now based on your post 
you can actually promote an affiliate product on your website. If you want to learn how to add, you know, affiliate products on your post, check out my other videos. So let's come back to our WordPress dashboard. And now as you can see the post that we've created, we have it over here. All right. Now you can edit it from here. You can do a quick edit. You can delete it if you want. And you can also view it from here. Now this is the default one. Okay. We don't really need this. If you click on this, this is how it looks like. Okay. So we don't really need this. We're going to delete it actually. And let's come back to our dashboard. Just click on trash. And now we have only one post. So here's where your posts are basically going to live. You're just going to find them under the post. They're all going to be listed over here. Now, lastly, I want to show you how you can change your theme. As you can see, you have your default theme, which is this one over here. And you can actually change it. So you're going to head over to appearance. So as you can see, the default one is this one here, 2023. You can actually change it. Uh, you can install different themes. So if you want a different theme, you can even select the default ones. These are the default ones that come with WordPress. So say, for example, I want this one over here. I can just click on activate. And now if I come back to our post over here, click on refresh. As you can see, this is how it looks like now. Okay, we have a totally different theme. Okay, so let's come back to our themes. Now, these are usually basic themes. Most people don't use these. If you want uh, different themes like Astra, I actually use Astra on all of my websites. So you can scroll down over here and click on add new theme. And as you can see over here, they have over 5,500 themes. There's so many themes that you can use over here. Okay, all kinds of niches as well. Beautifully designed themes, uh, different templates. Okay, so the one that I told you that I use, which is called Astra, is this one over here. So say, for example, you want this one here, you can just click on install. Most of these are free, actually. So we just click on install and then just click on activate. Okay, so now we come back to our post, click on refresh. Okay, so now you have a better looking theme. Okay, our text has been distorted, as you can see. So you'll have to go back. This is what themes do. So every time you change a theme, it tends to change, you know, your website layout, the way you've designed it. So you're going to have to go back to your editor and, you know, change your text and all that. Okay, but this is basically how you would do it. And this is how you can actually create a website, a WordPress website. And I'm going to be doing more tutorials on how to actually set up your WordPress website. In my coming videos, I'm actually going to show you how you can create pages, how you can set up your menus, uh, the best plugins that you can use for your WordPress websites and things like that. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. And if you like the tutorial, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I will see you on the next one.